Hello traders, welcome back to Tijani FX. In this video, we're gonna have a weekly review of your USD and GPP USD, studying every potential trade that the market has offered us. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated every time I post a video. And also make sure to join my free Telegram channel. I have posted all my trades for this week, showing all my entries before and after the uh, the fact showing my wins and losses also if you see i have this loss here and i have a win and i have this win and i have uh, many trades you know uh, either it is a break even or win or a loss so at first let's so without further ado let's dive right in we have the weekly time frame of your USD we see that price has filled this volume imbalance, right? And it shows some reaction from it dropping lower, maybe to this mitigation block, then to this order block, then, but we have this as our invalidation level. We have the IF is bullish, right? So we expect price to continue bullish, and this it is gonna be our invalidation level. We don't wanna see price drop lower, taking this low here. Let me adjust that. But at this week, I wasn't expecting a retracement. I mean, it was one of my scenarios, but the higher probability for me is to to con to expand higher, to continue an expansion. Because I don't pick a high. I don't say, okay, this is the high, so let's start selling. And if you see past it took this high, then it starts selling. If you say, okay, we're going to have this high and the next week is going to just uh, start dropping lower without any confirmation. No, I don't do that. For me, I don't pick a high. I look for a continuation the next week. Continue to, to do our next draw liquidity. This equal highs above this consolidation. Then we have uh, a fair value gap inside a three month fair value gap. A three month CB. Uh, uh, nested at this uh, consolidation, uh, at this uh, equal highs, price said liquidity. So, at this point, where when I am gonna be considering a retracement, if one hour time frame or four hour time frame has a market structure shift, what I mean, price has went to a premium level. We have this vol volume imbalance. We have this weekly breaker. We have uh, yes, weekly breaker. We have this weekly order block that price it has stopped to and we could say okay price it is gonna be dropping lower but first we need to have a confirmation we know that the if is bullish we know that price it is targeting this highs so why i'm gonna pick this high so if one hour time frame has has still a or a four hour time frame has still a bullish structure a bullish if i'm gonna continue buying but if two four hour or one hour time frame has dropped lower, breaking market structure lower, I'm gonna then shift my bias to a retracement and I wanna see price retrace to this, uh, to, to the discount of this range. I wanna see price retrace to, to the equilibrium, then optimal trade entry to the discount of this range. And we have as a PD raise, we have this mitigation block and we have this order block and we have this fair value gap that price has, has created. Right? So on the daily time frame, what I see, I see that the Friday's candle has closed like this. Then the Monday's candle has closed like a consolidation, right? And Tuesday candle has closed as a, has went higher first, continuing higher. Because if you see Monday candle has stopped into this fair value gap, just into it, then it went higher, feeling that uh, volume imbalance with this daily fair value gap. If you see this, we have a, this daily fair value gap just right here. That price has filled an EUVD. Then it closed as a bearish contraction, breaking market structure on, on one hour time frame, right? Breaking a market structure, confirming that we're gonna have a high of the week Tuesday. Then Friday we see a confirmation and expansion lower, and Tuesday price has started dropping lower. So I expected once I have this Tuesday candle print like this with a one hour break of market structure, I shifted my bias to bearish to fill first this fair value gap right here, then the second fair value gap right here that price has filled Friday, right? That's it. 
and we could see also uh, what uh, uh, an SMT between your USD if you see if you see this high has been taken price has went to make a higher this high then a higher high then another higher high and on the dollar price what it did it did make this low but it didn't check this low then a Tuesday it took Monday's low without taking Friday's low so it is a confirmation that we have an SMT we're gonna price gonna continue higher and if you saw my weekly forecast I'm gonna have the link of the, my weekly forecast on the description and if you saw that video I was I did explain that I'm expecting the dollar to do something like this price to drop lower like this filling this fair value gap but without taking this high and this high is a is a four hour one high, uh, high of the range so we're gonna have something like uh, uh, like a, a premium and discount range that I was expecting price to get to premium then to drop lower something like this but if price check this high I said then if price check this high I said we're gonna have we're gonna see some kind of retracement to the to the premium yes I know that price now it is feeling this mitigation block right here but for me I'm not interested in this mitigation block because it is it is at a discount and there are some traders who would say okay uh, maybe this is price could do something like this we, we have discount at premium ranges from this low to this low and we have that price is already in premium yes I understand this but for me for on how much I have so that price could easily continue higher like this to fill to this mitigation block as premium or to this breaker as premium for price to drop lower right yeah something like this that's what I'm I'm looking for next week but let's assume again I had uh, we're gonna talk about uh, let's last week here but just briefly let's assume that this fair value gap do something like this feel doesn't doesn't you know retrace to premium then it starts showing some break of market structure lower I'm not gonna be a stubborn guy say okay well I, I, I need to wait for price to get to this level I have confirmation that price has shifted bias to continue lower because we know that the IF is still bearish then I'm gonna be flexible as a watcher. I'm gonna just follow price. I don't. I'm, I don't want to be right saying, okay, I said to you, price goes higher to this level, then drop. I'm, I'm not that guy. I'm just wanna uh, follow price where it just go. I'm flexible as a watcher. So remember, the key to prefer uh, to profitability is simplicity and flexibility. So uh, let's get to the to the dollar. We see. I was expecting price to fill this for value gap, then to drop lower. Then what price did? It took the Monday's low, making the low of the week Tuesday. Then it, it closed as a contraction candle. As Tuesday has been, Tuesday's high has been taken on on Wednesday, and we're gonna see before that we had a weekly. We have a one hour or a four hour market structure shift that it is confirming bullishness. We took our entries here to continue higher with price. Yeah, so on what we see on the dollar, we see that the four hour time frame, right? We have this four hour time frame right here. And we could say, okay, let's go. So what we have, we have this blue line is the daily B BC, the first one here, this one, then we have another one here. We could adjust this daily BC to the next one. something like this and we have this for our BC here right so what we what we see we see that price has been accumulating we have an accumulation here just prior Tuesday candle just prior the high of the week we have some kind of accumulation price manipulate this accumulation and again you see at the daily time frame we uh, at the do the dollar we have that accumulation but we didn't see any manipulation of this low yes price has manipulated this low but she didn't manipulate this low as the dollar manipulate the high here so we have a, a bearish smg then price it shows reaction this candle here as an outside candle as a reversal candle 
Dutch price it took this high, it took this low, confirming bearishness as has one hour time frame will have a break of market structure inside this candle. So it confirmed first Dutch price it is dropping lower to this range here to fill this fair value gap first, then the second fair value gap here, then the here. Overall it was a daily fair value gap. Then we have this the second daily fair value gap just below. We could say we have a liquidity void here from this high here to this low here we have this liquidity void that price it is trying to fill now right then what we see price has dropped lower make an a retracement to this for our order block if you see we have this for our order block price has retraced to then break another market structure then we have another retracement to this for our order block and we see an expansion after contraction candles here at the four hour order block confirming this bearish move. I said price, okay, price has fit this for our CB, uh, for our BC, excuse me, has fit this for our BC. And if you are using the four hour range, you could say, okay, or one hour range, you could say, okay, price has fit that and may and price may, has dropped your optimal trade entry. We could see some bullishness at this point here. I'm not saying that is wrong i'm just saying if i want to see some bullishness from this for our uh, bc i want to see this high first taken so if price at that time make something like this i'm going to be bullish i'm going to just look for a retracement to continue higher if price do something like this if it took this high this is the high of the range but as long this high is still protected i'm still bearish and what price did price has retraced to premium of this range here from that high to this low price has retraced to optimal trade entry you could see that here has retraced to optimal trade entry to 79 level then it drops lower with an expansion during the news we had we had some news here and employment claims yeah let me check let me check give me a second so what is the news i forgot we had some news at new york 130 so forex factory uh, we had ample image claims right i was right we had some ample image claims news that price has helped to, to expand lower we're gonna use now the one hour time, uh, one hour uh, uh, time frame. We see that price has the, the same, like I explained. We see that price has consolidated here. So at Monday, what I could do trading this at Monday, I'm gonna use replay button. We know that how price has printed the, uh, at the rest of the week, but how I'm gonna enter, how I'm gonna look for entries, how I'm gonna find setups and everything. So here, I'm gonna we have. Friday candle has closed like this, right? Let's get off, rid of all of this. We have our B for our BC here. We could name it for our BC. And we see what price is doing. Price has opened Monday. I don't trade Monday, uh, Monday's London. I wait for a confirmation at Monday to see where price is going. Is price gonna drop lower here, feeling this fair value cup? What I wanna see, what I wanna see. I want to see some some kind of retracement like i said then a continuation higher that's what i was waiting for the week but i said if price made a break of market structure and to, and to look for a bullish movement from that for, for our bc we need to see another break of market structure or otherwise price is going to continue lower i said that on a weekly forecast before price even starts as monday candle i said that i said that's what i am going to be waiting for then price do something like this you see at monday price has dropped lower taking these highs here so price it took these highs yes you could find some entries here as a scalper but i'm not a scalper you could find some entries after price took these highs some kind of break of market structure maybe this was your entry at 15 minute time frame you could see that price has break of market structure their retracement to this order block to drop slower taking this low yeah maybe this is your entry but for me i'm still waiting for a confirmation the dollar it didn't take that low like 
like we, see, we are seeing like we are seeing you know on the uh, on, uh, on on fiber so you see the price it at Monday it didn't check this lows here like like expected let me use also the replay button to show you while price it didn't check this lows here at all so price has dropped here then it went higher but the dollar it took this highs here so we could have an SMT confirming this bullishness maybe at then once you have that SMT maybe you Maybe you're not gonna sell, or maybe you're gonna sell because of an SMG, right? You're gonna sell because we have an SMG confirming that we have a manipulation here, so it is a confirmation to be to be bearish. And we have this one hour fair value gap just right here, just below this low here, and I'm expecting more for price to drop lower, right? So then at Monday has closed like this. As a consolidation price has went high and if you see on on the dollar what we see we see price has taken this highs here right but the dollar has made an equal loss yeah you could say price has taken the low just by by a pip but it is still an equal loss you could see that it is an equal loss and we see that the dollar it made another high here so it is a bullish SMT for fiber so it is a confirmation that price it is going to be bullish and if we use our range as I said from this high to this low this range here maybe I didn't show you that it was the four hour range from this high to this low it was this daily candle here Tuesday candle from this high to this low if we see that, if we use that, we see that price has went to premium ranges. Then it shows a reaction from premium ranges, feeling this one hour right here, feeling this one hour CV, and it took buy side liquidity above this equal highs. At that 15 minute time frame, we see a break of market structure right here, confirming dash prices cheese reaction from this level for price to drop lower at the time and what we see we see that here we see that price has taken this low and it did a break of market structure above this high confirming what bullishness for Tuesday so if you wait for Tuesday candle for for the dollar what we see we see something like this price it did break market structure below this low so what I am expecting to have Tuesday, I'm expecting some kind of retracement to this order blocks or maybe to this mitigation block if I'm using this mitigation block, some kind of, of price to retrace like this, then to drop lower, taking Monday's low, taking Friday's low, feeling this weekly if you see this weekly yeah, I didn't name it but it is a weekly BC to show you where is this weekly BC is this level here right and that's what we had I had a buy entry on fiber based on this retracement here if we use our Fibonacci level from this low to this high we see that price has retraced up to mature entry then it did drop lower checking Monday's low but it didn't check Friday's low on fiber what we see I see that price has break market structure and I'm using this range here the same this range here has invalidation point I have this order block right here a one hour order block and I want to see something like this for price to continue higher to that area the daily fair value gap the daily CB above 
and watch what we had on 15 minutes we could see if we use our Fibonacci level we have the Asian range low here the high here I'm expecting some kind of retracement to optimal trade entry to continue higher then watch price did I'm starting I'm, I'm following the range from this low to this high now then price has started to drop lower from this low to this high now here right we have our range then price has dropped lower to optimal trade entry and it did went higher my entry was at this order block at this one hour order block with optimal trade entry with stop loss here below this low here so this low it wasn't my stop loss was there and I was targeting one to two something like this is it one to two yes I know the target is this levels here but for me I always exist at one to two you could take it here to this level so but what I want to explain why this is not a break of market structure because the IF is still bullish and we what we had we had some sell side liquidity taken to continue higher and we had also Asian range as an expansion when we have an Asian range as an expansion I always expect London to be an optional trade entry a manipulation of the lows if we had some lows but many times it's going to be an optional trade entry then a continuation higher right but if I want to be bearish let's say okay uh, price it took these highs we see that the uh, uh, the fiber uh, the dollar it didn't take this low here as as the fiber took this high here and we have a break of market structure but for me if i want to be bearish i want to have a one hour break of market structure a confirmation from one hour structure because i am following the one hour uh, uh one hour uh, one hour direction I, I frame my trades on one hour time frame. I know wh where daily is is going. I know where the we uh, the weekly is doing. I know wh what the daily is doing. But I always frame my trades on one hour structure. So if one hour structure is bullish, I always take a buy setup at 15 minutes or five minute time frame, uh, following the one hour structure. And let's assume that the daily is bearish, but the one hour is bullish. If I took a buy entry based on one hour time frame, I know that trade is gonna reverse as soon as as soon price has uh, get to a premium level, to a premium daily level, then it's gonna reverse. If let's assume that price, if we have this as an example, that this is daily range and we have a one hour break of market structure right here. What we see, we see this low to this high. We have, uh, we have discount here and we have premium here. We are inside premium. There is equilibrium here. I could take a sell entry to discount. Then I know for sure that price it is gonna reverse sooner or later to go higher. I just don't know when, but it is gonna reverse. And to confirm that reversal, I wanna see some some break of some uh, the same pattern i want to see some low check and then a break of market structure to continue higher to retrace from this couch but i could check a sale based on one hour time frame but i know what the daily time frame is doing i know where it's going from 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 what level is reaction and everything so i took this buy entry and it is explained here i guess where is it where is it if i look for my buy entry no 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 yeah i made a video about that by and uh, that's by entry right check it on my youtube channel and um, yeah this is it i took that by entry no this this was not this is gold okay uh, yeah this is your is i took that by entry as i said the one hour order block if i explained if you want to take partial i didn't check partial then price it took to my level then it drops lower right and we see that on 15 minute time frame we see that price gets me to my level then it drops lower something like this 
And now, once we had this loss taken, I was sure that Pulsity is going to target this equal low. I was sure that we have an SMT and this is a confirmation of that SMT. I was sure that this is what um, an accumulation and we have a manipulation and to make to choose the high of the week. And yeah, I was all I was sure of that because because of this low has been taken and this low has a, has been a confirmation for me to sell price now. So if we uh, we have this uh, we have this one hour order block right here and we have this fair value cap right here now once price it did take this low here like I said I have this confirmation that price it is gonna at least target this equal low right here and that's what happened now you see the price has went to fill this fair value gap then you see that price this fair value gap the bodies of the of the candles has been respecting this fair value gap we see this manipulation here taking this highs here then price has taken another time this low maybe let's assume let's assume you are you were using this range here from this high from this low to that high right you see this as a sell side liquidity taken you didn't see this as a as a break of market structure right see this may be an accumulation manipulation now we're gonna see some reaction higher yeah that could happen i'm with you i'm not saying that my scenario is 100 percent right i'm just saying the, this was my higher probability setup what i i understand of of what we have of the information that we had so far so once Pisces took this low again, you should shift your buys. If you weren't uh, uh, sure that this is a, a shift in marketplace, saying okay the price has closed above this low. If you if you weren't sure about that, but this low here is taken, it is a confirmation again for price to take this low because now price is making this low then a, a higher high. Then price make a lower low below this low, then a lower lower high below this high here. So it is a confirmation that price has shifted now to take this low, and we have this fair value gap. You could enter right here. You could just enter at this fair value gap right here. If you didn't enter here already because you weren't sure, you could put your entry there, your stop loss above this high here. Yes, yeah, so you could say, okay, I'm gonna put my stop loss here. It's you know you choose what you want i want to be safe i'm going to push my stop loss above this high here my first entry was here like i said because price it took this low i was bearish already so my first entry was at this fair value gap i didn't enter this trade so this is a back testing i didn't enter this trade because i wasn't available at that time so this is only for to show you what the market has offered us if i have if i if I, I, I if I did enter a trade, I'm gonna tell you which trade this, that I took. But uh, this was my my higher probability entry for me to sell price to one to two. Where is one to two? Uh, the, because that's my target. Even I know that we have equal lows here. Even I know that price it is dropping here. Even I know that price it is dropping to the four hour BC. I don't i don't ch check more than one to two but if you do if you do based on your risk management model i'm not saying follow me on my risk management model but if you do be sure to check partial below this low here then this low here then you know check your partial for me i target one to two without any partials that's my that's for my psychology it has it has more psychology reason than uh, uh then making money right so price uh, fill this fair value gap right here then we sh see something like that that price is started to drop lower which raise me another time to that fair value gap that's why you shouldn't even price it took this level don't say I, i'm gonna now move my stop loss or ever. that's some psychology error don't move your stop loss because i have explained many times in my telegram channel moving your stop, uh, stop loss so early to to break even it shows that you didn't accept that risk 
you didn't accept that part is uh, you weren't okay you weren't in peace to lose this raid because if you are in peace you're not gonna move your stop loss at all and you're gonna wait for price to drop to your level so one two two for me is here then price has continued lower dropping like this if we use one hour time frame right now yeah so here at wednesday what we see i i'm still open this trade because i still want you to hear i didn't i didn't check this trade in, in live market so just as an explanation here i'm still going to be opening this trade on 15 minute time frame what we see for for wednesday we see that price for me i see that price it took this highs here then what we had price it took this low here so i took a sell entry where is it if i use option method entry this i took this trade here i did I use this range here from this high to this low uh, to this low I saw that price has went to option trade entry taking the buy side liquidity above this highs here then it drops the world breaking market structure as a also a confirmation I remember that this day here at, lo at, uh, at, do at the dollar what we had we had an, an SMG price it didn't check this low here right here so price it didn't check this low right here so what we had we had price <coughs> drops lower to this order block at 15 minutes time frame we see that price has filled this fair value gap here to this order block to this second order block but it didn't check this low this the sell side liquidity below this Asian range low, right? But Monday we see that price it took sell buy side liquidity above mon, uh, Asian range high, right? So it was an SMT for me using this range to premium. Using that we we are we we have moved from premium. We, we are seeing also buy side liquidity taken. So I took an entry here, right here, using the premium uh, the optimal trade entry of this range with the buy side uh, uh, with my stop loss above this high and i have this order block with this fair value gap right here this was my reasoning to check this trade right i target one to two and then price did something like this took me out yes did it took me out like this then it drops lower to my favor so this was a loss for me and if you see on my telegram channel i did share that let me show you where is it if you see that it was this is this was my trade that i took and it was a loss right so and and also the dollar here once when price was uh, retracing dollar it didn't check these lows at all if you see price it didn't check these lows it's still it, we didn't have manipulation below these lows as as the fiber was taking the highs it took it here then another time here then another time here but the dollar it didn't check these lows then this price retrace it didn't check this low <coughs> then here it didn't check this low or this low and plus it shows bullish movement right for me to say this is maybe a break of market structure to continue higher i want to see first the dollar confirm that i want to see the dollar break a market structure lower to continue lower if i want to shift my bias so even if price is taking this high i didn't consider them as a break of market structure even if price closes above this body scandal above this high here I didn't consider it as a break of market structure because the dollar didn't confirm that the dollar showing a, a strength in price but the uh, the fiber was showing a weakness in price right 
then price has retraced if i say on 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 the <coughs> on the dollar once plus you check this high breaking market structure confirming bullishness we see that we have some kind of retracement to our fair value gap then a movement higher and we could enter here based on that we see that price has it is retracing if we use 30 minute time frame yes yes to, to the breaker if you enter at the breaker maybe not or maybe a five minute fair value gap yeah maybe price has retraced to this fair value gap right here but maybe you could enter at this trade i didn't enter or maybe you could use this breaker from here of 15 minute time frame other block could enter your entry was here Maybe you were waiting for this fair value gap, or maybe this fair value gap, and you missed it. That's fine. You missed your your entry, but if you enter at this breaker, maybe you have cast this move, this move lower. So in London, yeah, maybe that. I didn't enter this trade, but this is my entry with this breaker here. I could enter that, and the dollar has confirmed that by. By, by this retracement here to this fair value gap here at optimal trade entry we use this low to this high see we have optimal trade entry that passes much higher so I would be confident to enter this trade here at, at the breaker and not wait for this fair value gaps here and my stop loss is here because it did already check this buy side liquidity so if it did once more taking me out without checking this low here there is a high chance that we have shifted bullish to continue bullish and we're gonna have an SMT between this high and this high at that time so want you to again want you to hear want you to hear and I had a buy entry here want you to so so for this week EU alone has offered us two per, if you risk 1% each EU has over offered us 2%, 2%, 4, 6, and 8%. That's for two days. If you trade EU without any losses, I took a loss here, so minus one, and we have 7%. I forgot about this one, so it's 7%. But I didn't check this trade, I didn't check this trade, and this trade. I took only this trade and this trade, so I had uh, my live market 1%. This one's like I told you, I missed them because I wasn't available. And at this time here, I wasn't sure what price it is doing because it has consolidated a lot and it took time to unfold. So I wasn't sure what price it is doing at the time. So I pref I preferred to not enter. But this was a good entry. If you did, then price drops to our four hour BC. I waited for the next day, right? For Tuesday. For Tuesday, I'm sorry. I waited for Tuesday and we have one hour time frame. I didn't want to see, if we used four hour time frame, I didn't want to see this high taken, this high here. If we want to be bullish or if we want to continue bearish, we don't, we need to see this high to be protected and we know and we want to see some kind of some kind of mitigation of this order block then a reaction lower confirming bearishness and at that time what we had we had this high taken as a buy side liquidity right say so this is buy side liquidity above that high then price has shown some entries like this uh, this is one hour time frame okay okay i forgot to, to show you the entry of 15 minutes time frame then price it did something like this at new york it shows this reaction dropping lower confirming bearishness by checking this low and we see at one hour time frame we see this reversal candle so price was going higher then it took this high and they took this low so it was a reversal if price wanna continue bearish i didn't want to see this high to be taken right i didn't want to see this high 
to be taken. So what we have? We had price now at long at New York Fed zone. We had price taken these highs here, a break of market structure below this low. So I entered at this fair value gap right here. I put my entry somewhere in this fair value gap. If I use five minute time frame. I'm sure I put my entry at this breaker with this breaker right here. I'm pretty sure with stop loss above above this high. Yes, I believe I put my stop loss above this high here because I don't based on one hour time frame. I don't want to see. No, no, I put my stop loss above this high. I remember 10 pips. Yeah, because I didn't want to see the the reversal candle. It's high to be taken, the high of the reversal candle to be taken, and I targeted one to two, and we have this fair value gap right here, and this was my entry. I did enter this trade. Then price has given me this reaction. Yeah, so you could you could you know target these levels, and it is gonna give you H H R. This level is the daily. The daily BC on the daily time frame is GG is gonna give you 4 R. This trade it is gonna give you 6 R. The trade that we maybe took here is gonna give you maybe also 6 R. Something like that. 5 R, right? So that's great as just for one pair. But I, I always exit my trades as 1 to 2. So. So then price just continue lower. <coughs> so price just continue lower, feeling this uh, uh, fair value gap here, reacting it as a resistance. So just continue, we have a continuation lower. And then at Friday, I didn't trade Friday because I did make my my target of the week as Friday we see that price has has you know showed some reaction lower but if I wanted to trade I want I wanted to see this fair value gap field maybe some kind of retracement here but I want to see some break of market structure confirming that we are dropping lower but my ideally level that I want to see that price is going to feel is this level here I, I want to see price retrace maybe to that premium range here to sell price here at this fair value cup yeah we could see some reaction from it that price could just fail and drop lower but i want to see a market structure shift first i want to see signs a confirmation that we are already dropping lower then i'm gonna enter if not i'm gonna wait for this level here and we see that at friday price it didn't either get to that level and it just starts to drop it lower then it closed as a consolidation day as closing the week and what we see we see that price maybe if you if you were a scalper what we're gonna see we see that price has went feeling this fair value gap right here and we had agent range consolidation and price it took agent range high making a london's high here to high of the day, then a break of market structure at this low here. Then this is your entry here at this fair value gap. Or at this order block. Stop loss above this high, then one to two, or maybe if you are targeting this low here, it's two to five. Maybe you did hold your price, the the trade is three to five. Maybe if you hold, then price has closed as a consolidation. For me, I don't trade. I'm I'm not a scalper. I'm a day trader. I trade based on one hour time frame. I wait for for the higher probability level, so I'm probably didn't enter this trade here even if I was trading Friday so if we get back to the one hour time frame what, what we see we see that we have 
as power of three we had price has opened here let's get rid of all of these levels to show you the power of three how we use it on a weekly uh, from a weekly jump uh, what I want to talk about is the weekly jump like the power of three of the weekly range right so we have this we change our colors we see this as what as the weekly open or Sunday's open Sunday opening price in the middle right so we have Sunday opening price right here price has been accumulating prior the open it manipulated the highs then it shows a reaction below Sunday opening price confirming bearishness and we want to see expansion below that then price retrace to the Sunday opening price I don't want to see this high to be taken so if this high has been taken we are we, we're gonna be making the low of the week Wednesday for an expansion higher right if that if not we're still gonna be bearish and we had our expansion lower so what we had we had an accumulation manipulation making the higher of the week Tuesday then distribution lower right this is power of three this is the week this is the week the weekly template of the weekly range and 70% of the time this weekly template happens all the time 70% right yeah so we're gonna now talk about cable if you if you didn't understand something about uh, what I was explaining please just co uh, comment uh, below this video and say what you didn't explain what you didn't understand and then I'm gonna be trying to explain in another video okay so on the fiber what we have we have on the daily time frame or on the weekly time frame we are we are bullish we like I said I don't pick the high I was expecting price to just continue higher feeling the monthly CB but I but I also said on my weekly forecast if we have a break of market structure if we have a confirmation that price H is gonna drop lower on one hour or four hour time frame I'm gonna look for sales to this count to this range here of this range here from this high to this from this low to this high I want, I'm gonna look for sales to this count and we see that price has dropped to this count now to this maybe this daily order block Flash price could do something like this, then continue higher. And I don't want to see this low being broken. If we want to see bullish prices, then price, what we see on Monday, Monday has closed as a consolidation day. Then Tuesday, it took this high here, then it took the low. Confirming what? Confirming bearishness. This is a confirmation. Tuesday has confirmed bearish bearish prices, making Tuesday the high of the week. It didn't check the high here, so it was an SMT between what? Cable and fiber. The cable and fiber. But it wasn't an SMT between the dollar and fiber. Because if you see we have Friday's high here, Monday it took it didn't check that high, but Tuesday it took Monday's high and it was the same here. and it was the same here price it took Monday slow but it didn't check Friday slow so we had an SMT between cable uh, cable and and USD and fiber right and for our time frame what we see we see that price it took this high here then a break of market structure below this low confirming that price it is gonna check this consolidation low here to this order block first then the lows to this order block then this fair value gap here and we see that price has dropped lower feeling this fair value gap 
then it has retraced to this fair value gap right here we could find an entry here with this order block here and we don't want to see this low to be taken if we if we were selling we don't want to see this low to be taken and also this fair value gap here it was still in premium range if we use if I show you again the Fibonacci level this fair value gap here it was still on premium range we could still consider bearish prices for price to, to drop lower feeling this order block right here <clears throat> and if price check this high here then if price reacts from this level here then it went higher then we could say okay we have a confirmation that we're gonna be bullish to continue higher on one hour on one hour time frame what we see we see that price here at Tuesday we see that price it took Monday's high confirming what ha, uh, Tuesday high of the week but where we had our confirmation it was when when price it took this low here so we have our break of market structure here confirming confirming the shift then we had our retracement to our levels price has retraced our entry here to check a sell targeting this low targeting the equal uh, the the equal lows here this is a liquidity be below this consolidation to this fair value gap fair value gap fair value gap like i told you we don't pick the low saying okay price it took this low let's uh, let's now reverse okay price is fi has filled this fair value gap let's now reverse or maybe price has filled this fair value gap let's now reverse no we don't do that we're just gonna continue with price until it shows a, a clear break of market structure that is now reversing and if we go to the one hour time frame what we see this was a good entry for me if I enter the trade I did enter this trade here if you see if you check my last uh, my video breaking down this trade I said I took a, an, a trade Monday one price it took this lows then it, we have a confirmation break a market structure below this low then I took a buy entry a sell entry above this high targeting one to two then price was so close to one to two then it took me out once uh, once price was here I did explain why I closed my trade at this time and I did explain why I could check this trade as a buy entry here I'm gonna leave the link on the description uh, the in the description below so I, I did explain why we could check this trade here at this fair value gap then price has went higher it was outside case zone so I'm probably I'm not gonna check I'm, I'm not gonna take the trade this one here but if you took it maybe maybe you did maybe you don't care about kill zone that's based on your trading plan for me uh, I enter always in kill zones respecting time and price theory then price it did offer one to four uh two two point four two point four risk uh two point four r i'm sorry i'm i'm really tired taking buy side liquidity above this high then price it drops lower break in market structure once price it did break market structure this was a good entry we had a one hour a one hour cb uh, a, a one hour uh, uh, balance price range then a 15 minute cbc or cb here so let me check something we had a one hour bc that is now reacting as a as a resistance so the big one is one hour bc that is reaction now as a resistance and this one is 15 minute CB so this is a confirmation a fair value gap within a fair value gap so it is a confirmation that price right now it is gonna drop lower and we had one to two here 
and if you were targeting lower prices below this low this is how much you're gonna have made is one to seven yeah right then during the news here we had a CPI news I didn't find any entry I was expecting I was expecting for for price to trace uh, I was expecting for price to trace to this fair value gap then drops over something like this but during the news during the GPP CPI it just drops lower so I didn't check any entry here I didn't I did I don't see any entry here we had some reaction from this daily VC it went higher then price it did drop lower again for me I was waiting also for price to fill this fair value gap right here before dropping lower before looking for an entry price it didn't feel it that's okay I had an entry on EU I had an entry on gold and on cut GPY so I made money even though this wa this wasn't clear for me to check a sell there here at this point it wasn't clear for me to check a sell so I didn't check it then at Friday we see that price has closed as a consolidation there also yeah it's not yeah it didn't move much like how Tuesday has went how Friday has Wednesday has went how Tuesday has went it just went a little bit checking the sell side liquidity below this low then it went consolidate a little closing the week and if we use power of three again we see that price has accumulated during Monday then Tuesday high of the week break of market structure confirming the bearish bias then price has closed the week here and we're gonna have what we're gonna have the weekly Sunday open at this point you see this is the weekly this is the Sunday opening price Sunday opening price price just went above the Sunday opening price making the high of the week then it drops lower and and that's it for this video I'm gonna produce another video of cut GPY explaining some trades that I took on cut GPY and also on gold thank you for watching me and make sure to join my telegram channel I I post every trade that I put either it is gonna be a win or a loss if I uh, let me show you here like this trade here like this here it I took a loss I took a loss I took a small loss I didn't care at all so I did post this trade when I took a loss I say okay I took a loss I did post this trade when I took a loss I said okay I did took a loss on this trade yeah and I show my wins I show my trades but overall it was uh, how much it was four uh, four percent this week so make sure to join my my telegram channel it is tjani fx and see you at the next video